Welcome to the video. In this video, I'd like to draw your attention to this little guy here. This is one of the new receivers from Hobby King. It's a satellite receiver. It's called the R110XL, and you'll notice it is a satellite that has a difference. It has full range antennas. Now, we've used other controllers here from Hobby King that use the same kind of aerial, and they're absolutely great for when you want to put them inside a craft where you want the absolute best reception, or you're putting them inside a craft where you have lots of things like carbon fiber, and you want the aerial externally so they can pick that up. It's worthwhile talking about the older version of the satellite as well. Now this is the original version that we've been using here on the channel. In fact, this one was actually added to a Seriously Pro F3 recently, and we went through all of the process to connect it to that flight controller. And this new version is functionally identical with the exception of these wonderful new long aerials. So if you've already got a satellite receiver, changing it over once it's bound to your radio is a simple as unplugging one and plugging in the other. These smaller aerials are great for things like park flying and they'll easily get you to kind of the 400 feet legal limit here in the UK. In fact, I use a lot of other receivers from Hobby King that have these short stubby aerials and I really like them. This is one of my favorite receivers ever from Hobby King, one of the R615Xs, but the R620s and those other ones have been great too. So in a lot of cases, I will use these because they're small and discreet, but there are instances where we have a larger model or we have a lot of carbon fiber where the ability to root the antenna outside of the craft or around in a way that will give me the best possible reception is going to come in very handy indeed. The only other thing I'll mention is I have put a bit of time into designing uh, some kind of mounts for the antennas. So rather than uh, have them flopping around, if you have it on a really small quad and you want to kind of mount it with these sticking out the back in a way that they won't get caught in the props, um, I'll put these designs onto Thingiverse. Um, they're easily 3D printed and they also use these little three millimeter coffee stirrers, which are perfect to put the antennas through. So in summary, if you are looking to use a satellite receiver and you are a little bit worried about reception or you're putting it in the middle of a carbon fiber frame, then go and take a look at these. They're less than 10 pounds each. And for that, it's definitely worthwhile getting hold of a couple and putting them in the spares bin for your next build. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.